Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are looking at another Lego City set. This is from 2019. This is from the Space Mars Exploration Series. Set number 60225, Rover Testing Drive. Bit of an awkward name. There are 202 pieces, two minifigures, a bunch of accessories. Let's get into the review. So just do a quick little rotation here of the Rover. It's definitely a Rover. Kind of a pickup truck style rover in a way. Looks pretty cool. What does it come with? Let's see. We have a minifigure holding a laptop. Laptop does have printing. Let's see if we can zoom into that. Oh, that's blurry. There we go. So rover testing drive the name suggests it's kind of like let's say they're testing out how the rover works but there's nothing to say that you can have this particular person be there for the maintenance of the rover and then once it's out on the red planet on mars it's doing its own thing or even the astronaut could have a laptop with them so it's cool that we get a sticker on this laptop for the actual person i'm gonna flip the laptop here get that kind of out of the way so we can let go so we can see uh, the actual figure here it's got a little name badge kind of a construction style outfit you know like a uniform with some safety striping minor back printing and if we take her it's a construction style hard hat with a ponytail so that's pretty cool she's got her safety glasses on an engineer or a scientist I'm gonna let her hang out there one of the things that's in the set that's really cool is these geodes so they're essentially two pieces that are pretty much the same but you can split them in half as they are two separate pieces and they've got this kind of sparkly um, crystal type formation going on in there almost lost my train of thought on the words for those so pretty pretty cool so if i can get a good zoom in on that come on camera work with me there we go so really neat kind of something for them to explore as they're looking at different rock formations the light will pass through these so that is definitely a neat one as well put that off to the side it's got a tiny piece of dirt sand whatever you want to call it it's got some solar panels so help to power various things get some energy going and these can actually fit in the back of the rover as well We've got a camera set up kind of all of the martian so to speak and then we've got a crate that can hold other things in this case we are holding a remote control that could be used for the crane it could be used for the camera whatever you would like to use it for and of course a jackhammer so we can break into that geode there so we've got all those goodies there let's rotate here and look at the actual rover itself so I'm gonna just grab the crate for a second here so there are jumpers here so the crate will actually just fit in there and obviously if I can put it down properly there we go and there's another space as well so you can put the solar panel there as well let me get that out of there so we don't tip everything over take a better look cool wheels there is a compartment on the side you can hold things there there is also one uh, there is not one on the other side you've got the actual crane here fully articulated and it's got the little rubber band piece to grab things like the geode it's kind of cool that it just kind of sits there nice and neat Kind of out of the way kind of blue headlights on this one i like the front of this it's it's aggressive without being too i guess militaristic it just definitely looks like hey you know means business and then to get inside this is by the way a printed canopy if i can get that to open up here for me so pretty cool obviously with printing on a dark smoke windscreen that print is not going to be 100% great but I think it's okay 
I'll wiggle him out of there and see what he's working with. So he is controlling everything via this little control panel. And then looking at the astronaut himself, he's got an orange outfit with white accents, where some of the ones in the series are going to have the opposite. They're going to have a white outfit with orange accents. So he's a little bit hard to see the logo, but it is there. You can kind of see there's a little logo. It's very classic space-esque, but in this case, we're referring to the Mars Exploration Line. So as is on the side of the rover, it's kind of the logo that they're going for. He's got a clear uh, face shield on there. And then you've got the back itself. Let's take the helmet off. Let's look at the back printing. Pull his head off for a second. And there's some metallic uh, printing on there a little bit that reflects, which is really cool. It gives more detail. And then this guy has that classic city kind of grin going on. I have the helmet not fully on him, if you'll notice, that there's actually a dual molding here. So the helmet's got this cool, I guess we'll say like a neck seal thing going on. And that is definitely really neat. Good helmet. It looks like a space helmet. And that's really neat to have that. Get him kind of resituated here. We're going to get him back into his little rover. And then we'll get everything in there so you can kind of see if, you know, you can put everything in there. So let's do that. So we've got that. Obviously no room for the other uh, minifigure, but take the crate. And put the crate right there. Cinch that down. By the way, there is just a bit of space in there to hold something else. So for instance... This geode can work. I usually just use this um, as a place to hold the other one so it doesn't fall over. We've got this one. We'll stick this on the jumper. And then the camera, I very haphazardly will find a way to just kind of get it to, to somehow just kind of hang out and sit in there. Just pile it all up in there. And now not the most uh, graceful way of doing things but it is something we can do. So let's take you, put you right here without taking you fully apart. Put that there, use this to hold that. You know, flip that back that way. And now everything is kind of piled on there. Yes, we could squeeze the laptop in there. Not the most graceful looking thing that way, but it gets the job done. And we can give this uh, minifig her laptop back so she can hold on to it which they do hold on to just gotta kind of find that little notch to get it there and once she's holding it it's kind of like anyone that's holding a laptop you know so there she goes okay rover testing drive or essentially this is a mars um a manned Mars rover, so to speak. So it's like a moon rover, moon buggy, however you want to call it. Buggy would be smaller, so I'd say more of a rover. And pretty cool set, pretty neat set. And what's really neat and actually also interesting in a way is it's inspired by the NASA test rovers, though it doesn't really look like that one. So on the box, they do mention something. Uh, there is a rover that comes out in a future space line that does look like this. However, pretty cool. Neat little rover from the City Mars Exploration Space Line from 2019. That's all I've got for you today. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. More reviews on the way, hopefully sooner than later.